GM everybody welcome back to the channel today is Saturday I'm coming to you at a later time today because I was flying this morning I've just got back to my apartment here in lovely Portugal so I wanted to bring an update as soon as I landed and that's exactly what I'm doing and we can see the Bitcoin has pulled back yesterday so we spoke about Bitcoin pulling back and potentially sort of coming down to 69k that move has played out um right now i'm kind of in two ways as to whether a low is already in for the month of november we spoke about already the fact that the november lows usually come in at the start of november and every time we've had a halving year we've seen the november low either come in on the second or the third of the month so just referencing again this tweet here from Eric Crown, big fan of his channel as well. He shares some really good stuff, so give him a follow if you can. Um, but yeah, he's basically saying that uh, the previous four halving year, three halving years, sorry, this is now the fourth halving year, we have seen the low either come in on the 2nd or the 3rd of November. So, I mean... Just looking at this data as well, we've actually seen a couple, a few times, three times we've actually come in on the first as well, but those weren't halving years. So let's try and stick with the halving years because that is where we are right now in the cycle. So they are going to have the most relevance to us. And like I say, today is the second, tomorrow is the third. So could it be that the low's already in on the first? I think there's a possibility of that. But having said that, based on the fact that we haven't seen a strong bouncing Bitcoin yet. We've been consolidating today. And I do think we're, well, we are pretty close to potentially coming under this low. So do we have one more uh, push lower potentially tomorrow or on Monday, just to come down a little bit lower, maybe reconnect with this moving average here. This is going to be the five daily moving average. Or do we now start to grind our way higher it remains to be seen but i think there's a there's a lot of uncertainty around the election and just trying to break down what's going on obviously one of the candidates is a former businessman he is fairly well he is very low regulation low tax type of politician and then on the other uh side completely on the other end of the scale you've got somebody that's never been a business owner before and is very much sort of pro-regulation, pro-control, uh, has even spoke about coming up with un uh, taxes, capital gains taxes on un unrealized gains. I mean, it, the mind boggles at what that would actually do uh, to the financial markets if that actually were to get passed. So um, obviously, you know, the market has started to price in the Trump win. We've seen Trump sales come down over the last couple of days since the start of November. And Kamala is now starting, her eyes are starting to go up. So potentially the market is starting to uh, reprice in real time. And this could be one of the reasons why Bitcoin has pulled back. It could also be just what we were saying about seasonally. Look, the lows for each of the prior months have come in towards the start of the month. We've seen this really from July August, September, October, a little bit later on. But again, are we going to see the November low coming in at the start of the month? I think there's a very high chance that it comes in over the next week because whichever way the election goes, we will then have certainty on the election result, hopefully by the end of the next week. I mean, as far as I'm aware, US elections, they're not normally done and dusted within a day like the elections where I'm from in the UK usually by the evening of the election, you, you know the result. I mean, it's it's pretty clear. You, you almost go to bed and it's like, right, this is a done deal. Occasionally things can change overnight, but you kind of know the next morning definitively who's won the election. In America, it works a little bit different. So we have to be prepared for this to probably drag on throughout the remainder of next week potentially up until the end of next week, maybe even longer, but I think there's a high probability that by the end of next week, we know who the president is and have some certainty. 
I think if um, you know Trump does win, there's probably going to be a, a pretty decent pump that comes off the back of that. I expect prices to probably push back up to all-time highs. Potentially, they might come down and wick, uh, or, or, or sorry, they might they might whip higher before coming down and then trying to take out any late longs, and then we get the real move higher probably towards the end of next week or in the following week. That is what I would think if, if Trump does win. So I don't really see in that scenario lower prices happening. I think the low for the month is probably in. If Kamala actually wins, then I do think we will definitely see a sell-off. However, in the short run, the market can overreact and then look to mean revert in a lot of these sort of data-driven, event-driven um you know, events, I guess, such as an election. It was the same when the ETF went live. We saw prices really pump into the ETF. They got went too far, too fast, and then they mean reverted, and then we got the real move. So potentially, you know, if Trump comes in, we get a big pump, then we mean revert, then we get the real move. If Kamala wins, then do we then therefore come down pretty hard, sharp, and fast? Maybe even going as low as 60K, maybe even slightly under 60K, really scaring the bejeebies out of everybody and then does the market start to say hang on a minute this is the candidate that's promised more stimulus than any other democratic candidate she has literally said she wants to flood the u.s economy with trillions of dollars there's going to be loads of easy money on the way actually this is a this is a good thing you've got you've got trump over there actually wanted to cut government spending you've got elon musk coming up out and saying we're going to save like you know two billion of government spending if uh trump gets elected and i'm going to be the head of the department of government efficiency so we're going to get rid of people get rid of jobs so actually does the market then start to think this is, isn't too bad it's not it's not complete doom it's not that it's all over actually we are going to go up because liquidity is going to keep going higher so i think this is more of a short-term event. And obviously, if you're trading around that event with leverage positions, it can be fairly stressful. You're going to have to keep your eye on the ball over the next few days. But I think if you're a long-term investor, you just kind of want to hold through this volatility the best you can. If you are looking to add more into the markets, you probably want to take a little bit of a step back, give yourself the next, I'd say, week at least to look to feed into positions over the next few days. Obviously, if we do get any any dips or, or dumps in tokens that you're bullish on, you can obviously make advantage of those lower prices. So I don't think there's an urgency to rush in too soon. Like I say, or, or like I said yesterday, I have been adding in on this dip. And if we do go lower, I will look to accumulate more. Like I say, I have very fine amount of dry powder left, but there is some still left. I'm also rotating. I'm starting to rotate from Bitcoin into some altcoins that I like that I think are really undervalued right now. I'm also looking to put some of my Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana into leverage as well. So these are moves that I'm looking to make myself at the moment. But obviously, you have to do what fits for you in terms of your risk profile. And I'm not advocating anybody here that does use leverage. But if you are looking to add leverage onto positions, probably just it, it's sensible to just tread a little bit cautiously over the next couple of days, waiting for a little bit more clarity around the election. And then I think it's going to be off to the races once that uncertainty is out of the way. So that is the update on Bitcoin. Looking at Ethereum, Ethereum showing a bit more weakness again. Obviously, it's down today whilst Bitcoin is up. But it's the weekend. I think for Ethereum, as long you, you really want to see it remain above this low at uh, two, three, eight, one. You don't want to see Ethereum breaking down any lower than this support level. Certainly not lower than than, than this support here. Or else you really do open up the door about coming all the way down to this trend line here, close to two thousand. So obviously Ethereum is going to do what Bitcoin does. But I think if we get a big sort of heavy sell-off in Bitcoin down to 60K, you'll probably see Ethereum coming down close to well, close towards uh, $2,000 uh, as a, almost like as a worst case scenario for me before I think the market sees a bit of sense and then starts to uh, revert higher. 
And Solana, I think as long as Solana is holding above 150, it's all good. Uh, right now, we've seen a decent reaction off the 162 support today. That was obviously previous resistance, now flipped to support. So Solana still looking fairly strong, whereas Ethereum looking quite weak. Bitcoin looking a little bit flat today. But like I say, that's to be expected going into the event next week. And another thing I looked at earlier was the dollar. So the dollar had come down, it's hit its 200 day moving average, and it's now started to rebound higher. So let's see, I still think the dollar is likely to find resistance around this 104.5 level. It's doing that so far. So, you know, was this just a, uh, a bit of a relief rally in the dollar? Will we resume the downtrend next week? I tend to believe we probably will. Um, but yeah, obviously, this is um, spooking sort of investors a little bit seeing this come up. And of course, we've got the NASDAQ and stocks. Uh, well, there's no change. It's the weekend. But obviously, we came down below this trend line. I do think we'll consolidate and eventually go higher. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. GM, GM, I will be back again tomorrow. All the best. Take care.